Lin Yu traveled to the Dolua continent and was originally sighing because he didn't have a golden finger. Unexpectedly, the sudden golden finger kidnapped all the people in the Dolua continent. On that day, everyone was pulled into a prize-winning QA live broadcast room, where they had to watch and answer questions every once in a while. Ah Een. What, my son has already died. Is occupying my son's body now another soul? Bibi Dong. Yu Xiao Jiang, I didn't expect you to approach me with ulterior motives, you hypocritical and disgusting guy. Qian Rinxue. Don't play any live broadcasts about me. Deep Sea Demon Whale King. Disdainful of face. Sea God is just an ungrateful guy who likes to hat others on their heads. Meng Shu. Lin Yu, as long as you are willing to give me the dragon Yuan, I will betroth my granddaughter to you. Yu Yu Enjin. Don't compete with me, give me dragon Yuan, and I'll have second brother betroth second dragon to you. Watching the people in the live broadcast room frantically wooing him for rewards, Lin Yu sneered. Keywords of the novel. Doluo. Live QA, the whole world exposed by me without a pop dot up window, Doluo. Live QA, the whole world exposed by me. Download the complete set of TXT, Doluo. Live QA, the whole world exposed by me. Latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. Live QA system, seeking recommendation, seeking collection. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 Live QA System, Seeking Recommendation, Seeking Collection Hey tomorrow will awaken my martial soul, why hasn't my golden finger appeared yet? Am I not the protagonist at all, but just a trap? Even if I travel through time, I can only watch Tang San pretend to be coerced. I am not convinced. Dolua Continent, Hagen Das Kingdom, Windmill Village in the early morning, on a small hill behind the windmill village, a handsome little boy, aged around five or six, was lying on a green hillside, looking at the sunrise in the sky with somewhat lifeless eyes, murmuring. His name is Lin Yu, and he is a traveler who has traveled to the Dolua continent. But unfortunately, it's different from all the protagonists in Dolua Tongren. Lin Yu did not travel to the legendary Holy Soul village, nor did he travel to places like Tiendo Imperial City, Wuhuan City, and Chibaoyoli Sect. But instead, he traveled to a Hagen Daz kingdom that appeared in the original work but had little presence. Becoming a member of an ordinary small village called Windmill Village in the kingdom of H. A. Hagen Daz. Windmill Village, this name can also be considered well. Known in the network of Lin Yu's past life. Unfortunately, there was not a guy named Wang Lufei by Lin Yu's side, nor was anyone shouting in Lin Yu's ear about becoming a man with a title Dolo. As a member of an ordinary village, Lin Yu's deceased parents are all ordinary people. According to the martial soul inheritance law of Dolua continent, there is basically no possibility for Lin Yu to become a soul master. This made Lin Yu very depressed. Now his only hope for becoming a soul master is to activate the legendary golden finger system that is essential for travelers. Unfortunately, Lin Yu's martial soul will awaken tomorrow. Everything remained motionless, and activating the golden finger seemed like a mere extravagance. But just when Lin Yu was discouraged in his heart. Outside the world of Dolua continent. A golden stream of light suddenly passed through the endless void, shot into the world of Dolua continent, and finally entered the sky above Dolua star in Dolua continent. For a moment, an invisible wave swept across the entire Dolua continent. It includes various places including the Endless Sea, Sea God Island, and the far north. At this moment, in the Seven Treasures Glass sect, Ning Fengji was reading in an elegantly decorated and luxurious study. However, as the invisible waves swept by, Ning Fengji's eyes couldn't help but darken. As soon as the line of sight returned, a scene resembling a virtual illusion suddenly appeared before Ning Fengji's eyes. This is a world that seems like a fairyland, but at this moment, the world is covered in war. In the sky, a huge nine-colored dragon was shaking its wings, roaring and roaring incessantly, 
engaging in fierce battles with five gorgeous figures. On the ground, countless huge dragons and beasts are also scattered throughout the world, constantly roaring and raging, engaging in battles with some beautifully dressed figures. The strength of both sides seems to be incredibly strong, and any strike can destroy large forests, create a huge pit on the ground, and break a small mountain halfway. This doesn't seem like a battle between humans and soul beasts, but rather like a battle between gods and divine beasts. The scene of the war was extremely realistic, as if being in person. The wild roar of beasts shook Ning Fungi's eardrums, causing them to ache. The terrifying attacks made Ning Fungi unable to help but feel palpitations. Um. What's going on? Did someone cast a spell on me? Looking at the scene in front of him, Ning Fungi took a deep breath and couldn't help but feel a bit shocked. Because this illusion is really too real. Rong Rong, are you playing a prank? Stop playing. Dad is reading a book now and I don't have time to play with you. Thinking of himself as the head of the Seven Treasure Glass sect, and only his daughter Ning Rongrong daring to tease him, Ning Feng couldn't help but look at the door and frown. Although this illusion is not something that my daughter Ning Rongrong could have created. But thinking about how Sor Dolua and Bon Dolua in the sect love their daughters the most, maybe the two Dolua got a special soul weapon left by the destroyed Soul Guidance Empire somewhere and gave it to their daughter, who used it to play tricks on them. However, after Ning Fengji finished shouting, there was still no sound outside the study, and no answer could be heard, as if his daughter Ning Rongrong was not outside. This made Ning Fengji couldn't help but feel a bit skeptical and uncertain. Isn't it a daughter? Just as Ning Fengji was about to get up and see what was going on, a hurried sound of footsteps suddenly came from outside the study. Master, big things are not good. Big things are not good. Quickly, a middle-aged man panicked and ran into the study, half kneeling in front of Ning Fengji. What's going on? What's going on? It's a big fuss. Seeing the panicked middle-aged man, Ning Fengji frowned and asked. Master, it seems that we have all fallen for someone else's illusion. A very strange illusion appeared in front of us, but we cannot find who released the soul skill. The middle-aged man's tone was somewhat anxious. In the illusion, there is a huge nine-color dragon fighting five people, right? Ning Fengji was stunned for a moment, and after a moment of silence, he couldn't help but reply. Yes. Upon hearing Ning Fengji's words, the middle-aged man nodded forcefully and instantly seemed to realize something. He couldn't help but widen his eyes and looked at Ning Fengji in disbelief. Sect. Sect leader, have you also fallen for this illusion soul skill? Hmm. Ning Fengji nodded silently. And suddenly, accompanied by a burst of air breaking sound, a cold and stern middle dot aged man wearing a blue robe with silver hair and a middle dot aged man wearing black armor with a somewhat gloomy temperament, with long black hair behind him, walked in with a heavy expression. Master. After entering the study, the two of them immediately bowed to Ning Fengji. Sword uncle, bone uncle, shouldn't you have also been enchanted? Although he had not spoken yet, seeing the heaviness on the faces of Jian Dolua and Gu Dolua, Ning Fengji instantly guessed what Jian Gu Dolua wanted to say, which made his heart sink. As for Ning Fengji's words, Sword Bone Dolua couldn't help but glance at each other and then nodded silently. Upon receiving a positive response from Sword Bone Dolua, Ning Fengji couldn't help feeling uneasy. He found that it seemed that this matter was not so simple. And the fact is indeed so. Because at this time, it is not just the Seven Treasures Glass Sect. Even Wuhuan City, Haotian Sect, Blue Electric Bawang Sect, Tiendo Palace, Xinglua Palace, Holy Soul Village even the people in the capital of Slaughter and the Sea God Island were hit by this eerie illusion soul skill, and strange scenes appeared before their eyes. Except for humans, soul beasts over 100,000 years old in the core area of the Starry Forest, the Endless Sea, and the Far North are no exception. For a moment, the entire Dolua continent couldn't help but fall into panic and shock, 
feeling extremely puzzled and puzzled by the strange scene before them. There is only one exception. At this time, the mountain behind Windmill Village. Lin Yu had already stood up, excitedly learning about the system that had just been bound in his mind. The reason why people in the entire Doloa continent have been hit by illusions now is that an illusion appears in front of them, which is precisely caused by the system bound to Lin Yu. In fact, this is not an illusion, but everyone has been pulled into a magical live broadcast room. The system bound by Lin Yu is named the World Live QA system. Ding! The world's live QA system is currently being bound. The binding is complete. Congratulations to the host, becoming the host of the live broadcast room, unlocking all the highest permissions. The members of Quandoluo Continent are currently being pulled. Pull completed. Randomly extracting playback events. Extraction complete. Playing. God's Realm Cataclysm. As the cold mechanical sounds played out in his mind, a stream of information rushed into Lin Yu's mind. This was an introduction to the system's functions and Lin Yu's privileges as a homeowner. After browsing through the information in his mind, Lin Yu had a rough understanding of the functions of the Live QA system. Live QA system, as the name suggests, is a system that exercises system functions through a Live QA system. The system will pull everyone from all over the world into the live broadcast room, and then extract various historical events of the past, present, and future of this world to ask questions to the people in the live broadcast room. If someone answers correctly, there will be rewards, while if they answer incorrectly, there will be punishments. However, upon seeing this, Lin Yu's lips couldn't help but twitch slightly. Because looking at it this way, he, as the host and homeowner, also has to answer questions. After being left here for a long time, he, as the host and homeowner, is just like an ordinary person pulled into the live broadcast room. However, this is just an introduction to the system's functions. Lin Yu will now take a look at the privileges of the homeowner. This made Lin Yu feel much better in his heart. Because homeowners have many privileges, there are several who only answer live QA questions, such as. During each live QA session, the answers can be hidden and not displayed on the public screen in the live broadcast room. Each live broadcast is exempt from the penalty of three incorrect answers. Answering questions during each live broadcast event can help you know in advance whether it is correct or not. Every time you answer a question correctly and receive a reward, if the reward is random, you can specify the reward you will receive within a random range. In every question and answer session of an event, the person who answers incorrectly will be punished and deprived of lost things, which will belong to the owner. End of this chapter Starting from Chapter 2 QA, How Was the Soul Master Born? Inference You are listening at NovelFull.audio Starting from Chapter 2 QA, How Was the Soul Master Born? Seeking Recommendation, Seeking Collection Hmm it seems that I still have a little bit of privilege and advantage. After reading all his privileges, Lin Yu couldn't help but curl his lips, feeling very satisfied in his heart. As Lin Yu familiarized himself with the system, the Divine Realm Cataclysm event was finally about to end. In the battle, with the combined force of the five figures in the sky of the Divine Realm, a giant sword attack seemed to be able to cut through time and space, dividing the nine-colored dragon in half. But the nine-colored dragon did not die after being split in half by a sword. But instead, a giant dragon emerged from each side of the body, with a golden dragon on one side and a silver dragon on the other. After the appearance of the golden dragon, it roared angrily and suddenly shook a pair of wide golden dragon wings, continuing to charge towards the five figures in the sky. As for the silver dragon, after appearing and forcefully enduring the attacks of five figures in the sky with its body, it instantly tore apart the space and fled. Then, time instantly froze at the moment when the silver dragon entered the pitch black tunnel of space. At the same time, an illusory screen suddenly appeared in front of everyone, and messages kept flashing rapidly on the illusory screen. Jack, shocked. What is this? 
What is this? How could I be here? I have to inform the third party about the awakening of the martial soul Tang San. Grandpa Jack, is that you? Huyin Zhen. What exactly is this thing? Our entire elephant sect has been dragged into this illusion. Ning Fengji. Elephant Armor Sect. Did all the people of your elephant armor sect also fall under illusion? Dai Tianfeng, Emperor of Star Luo. This is definitely not an illusion, haven't you noticed? It seems that the people of our entire Doloa continent have entered here. Even the legendary gods cannot cast illusions on all the people of our entire Doloa continent at the same time, right? This is probably something really big happened in our Doloa continent. Dugubo. By the way, do you know where the scene just played happened? It doesn't feel like something happened on our Doloa continent. Moon Pass. Old Poison, I didn't expect even you to be dragged here. Dugu Bo Old Chrysanthemum, get out of here. You can even pull in this chrysanthemum, why can't I? BB Dong, pondering. I seem to know where this scene happened, and there is a figure inside that I seem to know. He seems to be the legendary Shura God. The scene just played shouldn't have happened in the legendary divine realm, right? At this moment, in the papal hall of Martial Soul City, Bibi Dong was dragging his fragrant cheeks with his jade hands, pondering in his heart. Although I have not seen the Shura God, I have seen the Shura Sword in the hand of the King of Slaughter. When she saw someone holding the Shura Divine Sword in the Divine Realm Cataclysm, with strength as divine as magic, she immediately thought that this person might be the legendary Shura God. But what exactly is going on in this illusion, what is its existence, and how can it show the people on Doloa continent what happened in the legendary divine realm? Is this also done by God? Dugu Bo Sai. This place is actually in the legendary divine realm. Ning Fengji. This is simply unbelievable. Dust Heart. Unbelievable plus one. Gu Rong. Unbelievable plus two. Ning Rong Rong. Unbelievable plus three. Ghost. However, I am still curious about what kind of existence it is. Why did it pull all of us into an illusion and play us the war in the divine realm? What is the purpose? Yu Yu Engine. I'm also very curious. Snowy Knight. I am also very curious. Dream Machine. Curiosity plus one. Bai Bao Mountain. Curiosity plus two. Just as everyone was expressing doubts about the illusion just played and the virtual screen appearing in front of them and discussing at the same time. A row of blood-colored characters suddenly appeared before everyone's eyes. At the same time, a cold mechanical sound echoed in everyone's ears. Welcome to this live broadcast room. This live broadcast room is called the Rewarded QA Live Room. The live broadcast room will randomly play past, present, and future events that have occurred in this world and its associated worlds. After the broadcast is completed, questions will be asked. If you answer the question correctly, you will receive a reward. Incorrect answer to the question will randomly deprive soul power, deprive soul power cultivated in the future for a period of time, deprive soul rings of years, deprive soul rings, deprive martial souls, deprive money, deprive life and so on. If no one answers, one person will be randomly selected for severe punishment, the previous event has already been played, now let's start QA. At this point, the cold mechanical voice paused, and then a line of blood-colored characters emerged again. QA. How was a soul master born? Reward for correct answer. As this is the first time answering, the reward for this question and answer has been raised to the limit. The live broadcast room will fulfill any wish within a certain limit for the correct answer, which can include resurrecting the deceased, increasing cultivation to level 99, upgrading martial soul to god level, and increasing soul ring configuration to 99,999 years, etc. Wrong answer penalty. As above. With the appearance of blood-red characters in front of us, when we heard the cold sound in our ears, 
all those who entered the live broadcast room couldn't help but open their eyes wide and their hearts beating wildly. What kind of live broadcast room's answer, the reward can actually fulfill the wish. As the live QA system announced the reward for the first QA session, the entire Doloa continent was boiling for a moment. Where in this world can there be people without wishes? Common people who cannot eat enough or wear warm clothes often hope to have worry-free food and clothing. People with slightly more vision often have greater ambitions, such as those who hope to obtain martial souls that can rival those of Blue Electric Tyrannosaurus Rex and Houtian Hammer, or simply click and wish themselves to be wealthy and unparalleled in strength. Even those who have already reached the forefront of the mainland in terms of status, wealth, and strength often have their own desires in their hearts. For example, the previous Pope of the Marshall Soul Hall and the current Grand Deity of the Dolua Hall, Kianda Oliu, have always wanted to resurrect their son Kiang Sunji. The imperial family of the Heavenly Do Empire, including the Snow Knight Emperor, has always hoped to evolve their family's swan martial soul into the top martial soul on the continent. The Ning Feng Ji of the Seven Treasure Glass sect hopes to enable the evolution of the martial soul of the Seven Treasure Glass Pagoda, breaking free from the shackles of previous Seven Treasure Glass Pagoda soul masters who could only reach the level of soul saint. The Nine-Hearted Begonia family hopes to eliminate the deficiency of Nine-Hearted Begonia's martial soul, so that each generation can no longer have only two nine-hearted begonia soul masters. Dugu Bo, the member of the Biphosphorus family, hopes to find a solution to the family's Biphosphorus toxicity. Tang Hao hopes that his wife Ian can recover. And the Shiyu and Xiao Gang hope that they are no longer useless. In an instant, after seeing the rewards for live QA in the live broadcast room, everyone was moved. In fact, not only humans, but also the 100,000-year-old soul beasts on Dolua are like this. In a deep underground cave in the core area of the Starry Forest, Emperor Tian couldn't help but think that the reward for live QA could fulfill his wish. If he answers this question correctly, can he allow the boss's injury to recover directly? Of course, at this moment, Gu Yuna, the Silver Dragon King, in the small space at the bottom of the Lake of Life, also felt the same way in her heart. At the same time, Titan Monkey Erming, Tian Qing Bull Python Daming, and Xiao Wu all had a desire to resurrect a person, who was Xiao Wu's mother Aru. On the other hand, in the Endless Sea, the Deep Dot Sea Demon Whale King lurking deep under the sea couldn't help but feel a little tempted. Can this mysterious live broadcast room make it a million-year soul beast? However, although almost everyone is ecstatic and tempted by the rewards of live QA, there are also exceptions. For example, Poseidon is located far away on the island of Poseidon. Since being pulled into the live broadcast room, Poseidon was incredulously surprised to find out. She seems to have lost contact with the great sea god in the divine realm. This made Poseidon feel very heavy in his heart. What kind of live broadcast room can cut off her connection with the great sea god? Is this live streaming room even more powerful than the supreme lord of the sea god? End of this chapter Chapter 3 Answers and Punishments, The Tragedy of Hianzen Recommended You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Answers and Punishments, The Tragedy of Hianzen Seeking Recommendation Seeking Collection. Moon Pass, Shocked. Is it true that the reward for this question and answer can fulfill a wish? Is it true or not? Ning Fengji. It should be true, after all, this live broadcast room has brought all the people from our entire Dolua continent in. This is simply a divine power. Amazing. Yu Xiao Zhang, excited. Unbelievable. The wish that this reward can achieve actually includes making the martial soul evolve to the divine level. Can I finally get rid of the name of waste? Lu Erlong, surprise. Xiao Gang. Is that you? Where are you now? Tell me quickly, I'll come find you right away. 
in a room in the dormitory building of Nodding College, due to the reward given by the live broadcast room, Yu Xiaojiang was extremely excited and couldn't help but speak in the live broadcast room. But when Yu Xiaojiang saw Lu Erlong asking about his position, his expression suddenly froze, and a hint of pain flashed in his eyes. Yu Xiaojiang, sighing. Erlong, we are really not suitable, so don't come to me again. Friend, angry. Yu Xiaojiang, how could you do this? If you say you don't look, then you don't look. Erlong has been waiting for you for 14 to 5 years. Me. Upon seeing Fran's words, Yu Xiaojiang was momentarily speechless, and the pain in his eyes couldn't help but intensify. He doesn't want it either, but there's nothing he can do. It's impossible for him to have a relationship with Lu Erlong. Upon seeing the virtual screen in front of him, Lu Erlong continued to question, but Yu Xiaojiang chose to remain silent. In the martial Seoul city, inside the papal palace, seeing Lu Erlong still questioning Yu Xiaojiang's news, Bibi Dong's cold and charming face was somewhat gloomy and angry. This Lu Erlong is such a bitch. She and Xiao Gang are siblings, yet they still cling to Xiao Gang like this. In Windmill Village, seeing Lu Erlong still asking about Yu Xiaojiang's news, Lin Yu felt a bit unhappy in his heart. In the entire Dolua continent, the only person he dislikes the most is Tang San, who is a double standard, and the rest is the hypocritical scumbag Yu Xiaojiang. I really don't understand how Yu Xiaojiang, a useless person who lacks strength, personality, and face, made the goddesses Bibi Dong and Lu Erlong fall in love. It's really puzzling. However, in the live broadcast room, the discussion is still ongoing. Tang Xiao, excited. Brother Hao. Are you there? This reward can actually resurrect the deceased. If we can answer correctly, wouldn't we be able to make a wish to resurrect the third sister? Ah Yin. Big brother, I'm not dead yet. Tang Xiao, dumbfounded. Ah Yin. Are you still alive? Tang Hao, sighing. Ah Yin is indeed still alive, but her current condition is very bad. Yu Guan, angry. Tang Hao. How dare you appear in the live broadcast room? You killed our previous pope's crown prince, and now you dare to appear in front of us. Tang Hao, disdainful. We are all in the live broadcast room now, and you don't know where we are. If you have the ability, come bite me. Moon Pass. Trembling with anger, you. Ning Fengji, helpless. All right, stop arguing. Let's all think about the answer to this question. How did our soul master come into being? This question is not easy to answer. It's impossible to come up with an answer after all the arguments. As soon as Ning Fengji spoke, the entire live broadcast room fell silent. Thinking of the tempting reward of QA, everyone temporarily let go of their other thoughts. Instead, he began to turn his thoughts towards contemplating the answer to how the Soul Master was born. In the Dolua continent, the existence of Soul Masters can be said to be widely known, and martial souls are also widely available. But no one knows for sure how Soul Masters were born. However, since this so dot called live broadcast room played the scene just now and then raised the question, I believe the answer to this question should be related to the scene just played. But in the scene just played, it should be a place in the divine realm, where two forces exist simultaneously, namely gods and divine beasts. Is it gods or divine beasts that led to the birth of soul beasts? Because just now, both the blood-red characters and the cold voice in my ear said that if I answer incorrectly, I will be punished, and punishment includes depriving my martial soul and soul ring. So for a moment, without understanding the answer to the question, no one dares to answer it easily. Surprisingly, there were hardly any scrolling messages on the entire virtual screen. Huyen Zhen, disdainful. Why hasn't anyone answered? What are you afraid of? It's just an illusion. Do you really believe that it can extract martial souls and soul rings from our bodies? Ning Fengji. Snowy Night. Moon Pass. 
Ning Fengji. I feel it's better to believe in its existence than to believe in its inaction. Heavenly Dream. Human, please answer this question quickly. If anyone can answer this question correctly, make a wish to save me. I am the million year soul beast Heavenly Dream Ice Silkworm. If any of you can make a wish to save me, I can voluntarily offer it to him. Not only can I give you a million year soul ring, but I can also bring you a martial soul with ice attributes. Ning Fengji, shocked. You. You are a million year old soul beast. Did your soul beasts also be dragged in? I thought there were only humans. Heavenly dream, disdainful. Cut. Brother is a million year old soul beast, not much different from your human wisdom. Why can you come into this live broadcast room? Our soul beasts can't do it. At this moment, in the underground caves of the core area of the starry forest. Upon discovering that Tian Meng Ice Silkworm had also spoken in the live broadcast room, Emperor Tian couldn't help but frown, but he didn't feel too surprised in his heart. After all, since all the humans on the Dolua continent, as well as soul beasts that should have been over 100,000 years old, have been pulled into this live broadcast room, this million-year-old ice silkworm should not be an exception. It's just that this million-year-old heavenly dream ice silkworm makes humans wish to leave, and this wish is too naive. Emperor Tian sneered in his heart. Compared to humans who may only be over a hundred years old at most, their lifespan is several tens to millions of years. He knows very well how human soul masters were born. The human soul masters were born because the great silver dragon king of their soul beast family brought the origin of the dead divine beasts from the divine realm back to Dolua continent when tearing apart the space from the divine realm. This gave humans the power to possess martial souls and gave birth to soul masters. It's not because of any gods, these humans will never know the correct answer. However, Emperor Tian did not answer immediately because no one had answered yet. If he answered first, everyone would know the answer. He didn't know if the reward would be diluted if he answered correctly, so he was still prepared to wait until later. Huyen Zhen, sneer. A million-year soul beast. You say so. And don't you think we're stupid? Even if you're a million-year soul beast, you can only bring us one million-year soul ring and one ice-type martial soul, but the desire to answer the question correctly can directly make your cultivation reach level 99, which is not much better than your only one million-year soul ring and ice-type martial soul. Tuoba Shi. It seems to be right too. You truly deserve to be Brother Huyen, you are indeed smart. I admire you. Upon seeing Huyen Zhen's answer, Tuoba Shi, the leader of the White Armored Earth Dragon sect, who is a friend of Huyen Zhen and also one of the lower four sects, couldn't help but admire him. Upon hearing Tuoba Shi's praise, Huyen Zhen felt even more proud in his heart, as he had already thought of the answer. In his opinion, since the reward for this question is so generous, the answer cannot be so simple. If it's related to this god in the divine realm, it's something that everyone wants, how could it be? The divine realm is the divine realm, and their Dolua continent is their Dolua continent. The two worlds are completely unrelated. So the answer to this question must be that the people on Dolua continent naturally gave birth to soul masters themselves. For a moment, he ends and felt as if he had mastered the truth. Huyen Zhen, proud. My answer is that soul masters were born by the people of Dolua continent themselves. Tuoba Shi. I admire it. I admire it. Brother Huyen's answer is so fast and unique. However, my perspective is different from Brother Huyen's. I feel that the birth of our soul master in Dolua continent should be related to this divine realm, and this live broadcast room should not be able to play useless things. Ning Fengji. The two of you answered so decisively, but I still think that the answer to this question still needs to be carefully considered. Seeing He Yanzen and Tuabaxi answering so quickly, Ning Fengji seemed to admire them on the surface, but couldn't help feeling a bit speechless in his heart. 
because he felt that this QA live broadcast room was so magical, and the rewards and punishments were very likely true. Although he was also envious of rewards, he was also very afraid of punishment. He originally wanted to wait for someone to answer and see the situation. Since Hyanzen and Tuabaxi answered so quickly, it's just right. Let these two people give him a try. After Tuoba Shi and Ning Fengji spoke, some people also expressed their opinions along with them. Among them, most of the disciples of the White Armored Earth Dragon sect who answered the question believed that it was definitely the Divine Realm, or rather, due to the reasons of the gods, that led to the birth of soul masters on the Dolua continent. Some people in the Elephant Armor sect also agree with the view that the Huyin earthquake was born by humans themselves. And extremely rare people answered questions related to divine beasts, including Emperor Tian. Emperor Tian mixed his own answer with everyone's, concealing his own answer. The answer from Emperor Tian is that the birth of the Soul Master is related to the Silver Dragon King Gu Yuna and the deceased divine beast. However, when someone answers, most people are still watching to see if they will really be punished if they answer incorrectly, and if they are punished, how strong the punishment will be. If the punishment is severe, many people will probably hesitate a lot. After all, if you answer incorrectly, punishment coincidentally deprives you of your martial soul. That's really too late to cry. You you engine. Ah. I don't know who can answer correctly. If this reward is true, then our Dolua continent may undergo a big change. Ning Fengji. Let's wait and see what happens. Someone has already answered, and whether it is correct or not should be known immediately. Let's take a look at the situation. Just as Ning Fengji's words were spoken, the rewards and punishments for live QA began. Tip. The answer to the Huyin earthquake is that it was born by humans themselves, incorrect answer. Punishment. Deprive him of the eighth soul ring of the diamond mammoth martial soul. Tip. Tuoba Shi's answer. It is the god of the divine realm who gave birth to the soul master of Dolua continent. Incorrect answer. Punishment. Deprive third level soul power for a moment, with a cold sound, rows of blood red big characters appeared before everyone's eyes. What? At this moment, near the heavenly Do imperial city, in the elephant armor sect, Yanzen thought he must have answered correctly. But when you hear that you answered incorrectly, the punishment you will face is still to deprive yourself of your eighth soul ring. Hu Yenjin's face couldn't help but change drastically and he suddenly sat up from his seat. But before Hu Yanzen could start resisting, punishment began. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Random Punishment Countdown, Everyone Panicked Big you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4 Random Punishment Countdown, Everyone Panicked. Everyone recommends checking in and leaving a message to get started. For a moment, Hyanzen suddenly felt an invisible force suddenly acting on his body, forcibly imprisoning him in place. This force is extremely powerful, even though Hu Yanzhen resists angrily, his body still cannot move at all. My own Diamond Mammoth Martial Soul involuntarily emerged from behind. At the same time, the eight soul rings of yellow, yellow, purple, purple, black, 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 and black suddenly rose from the feet of Huyanzen and surrounded him. In the next moment, a strong sense of pain instantly engulfed Huyanzen's entire body, as if an invisible force was about to pull out all the flesh and bones from his body. Ah! In the intense pain, Hu Yenjin clearly saw that the eighth soul ring around him had begun to loosen. And the next second, the eighth soul ring suddenly detached and disappeared without a trace. Hu Yenjin, startled. No. How could it be, my soul ring? My soul ring. In the live broadcast room, on the illusory screen in front of everyone, words of shock and anger suddenly appeared. This made many people look at each other for a moment. Has the eighth soul ring of Hyanzen really been deprived? In the Seven Treasures Glass sect, Ning Feng was somewhat shocked. 
I don't know if the deprived eighth soul ring can be absorbed back. If possible, this punishment may still be useful, but if not, it would be terrible. However, for a soul warrior, finding a suitable eighth soul ring is not easy. This is suddenly taken away, even if it can be absorbed back. It is difficult to find another soul beast that is satisfied with both its type and cultivation years as the eighth soul ring. For a moment, information containing emotions such as fear, fear, and anger flashed rapidly in front of everyone on the illusory screen. This made many unanswered people feel a bit quiet and chatting for a moment. Because inside, there is not only the Hyanzen who has been deprived of the eighth soul ring. There are also Tuoba Shi who has been deprived of third level soul power, and even some people who have been deprived of their martial soul and lifespan. Who could turn a blind eye to such punishment? Hu Yen Zhen, anger. I am not convinced. I answered everything wrong. I was stripped of my eighth soul ring, while Tuoba Shi was only stripped of his third level soul power. After being deprived of the eighth soul ring, the illusory screen suddenly flashed with words of unwillingness from Hianzen. Yeah. Why does the punishment intensity differ? Is it random punishment? Many people can't help but think to themselves. After the words of Hianzen, a row of blood-colored big characters suddenly appeared in front of everyone. At the same time, a cold sound echoed in everyone's ears. Ding. Kind reminder, although the punishment is random, the more outrageous the answer is, the heavier the punishment will be, and vice versa, the lighter it will be. So it's like this. Everyone couldn't help but suddenly realize. However, does this not mean that Tuobashi's answer is already very close to the correct answer? Is it even more specific? For a moment, many people couldn't help but feel a sense of liveliness in their hearts, starting to think about how to improve their answers based on Tuobashi's answer. On the other side, Windmill Village. Ding. Reminder, member Hu Yenjin of the live broadcast answered incorrectly and has been deprived of the eighth soul ring. It is stored in system space and can be retrieved by the host at any time. Ding. Reminder, the live broadcast member Tuoba Shi answered incorrectly and has been deprived of level 3 soul power. It is stored in the system space and can be taken out by the host at any time, converted into pure soul power and injected into the body. Ding. Reminder, member of the live broadcast room, D. Tian, answered incorrectly and has been deprived of soul power for thousands of years. It is stored in the system space and can be taken out by the host at any time, converted into pure soul power and injected into the body. When many people were punished for answering incorrectly, the cold and uplifting sound of the system was constantly ringing in Lin Yu's mind. This excited Lin Yu immensely. It's great that everyone's punishment for answering incorrectly belongs to him. Even if he can't become a soul master now, he still has the soul power extracted from these people after punishment. After systematic transformation, he can also become a soul master. However, after being excited, Lin Yu became somewhat distressed again. Because he actually followed suit just now. His answer was similar to Emperor Tian's, which was to answer that the birth of the soul master was related to the silver dragon king and the dead divine beasts, including the dragon god. But surprisingly, the answer was wrong. But based on the settings he has seen in his past life and the plot reasoning in his original work, this answer should not be wrong. Because neither soul beasts nor soul masters are naturally generated. If all the beasts born from Dolua Star were soul beasts, then Tang San could not have encountered ten blazing sun snakes in the capital of slaughter. And even after ten scorching sun snakes are killed, soul rings will not appear. But if it's not, or not just related to the silver dragon king and dead divine beasts, including dragon gods, is it also related to the gods in the divine realm? Lin Yu began to ponder hard. Wait. In the great cataclysm of the divine realm, due to fighting against the divine beasts led by the dragon god, it seems that many gods have also died. Perhaps it is also related to the gods. Suddenly, a spiritual light flashed in Lin Yu's mind, 
and he couldn't help but think to himself. Thinking of this, Lin Yu immediately answered again. As a homeowner, Lin Yu can hide his answer information. So Lin Yu's answer did not appear on the illusory screen in front of everyone. Lin Yu. The birth of soul masters should be related to the gods, the silver dragon king, and divine beasts in the divine realm, including the dead dragon gods. After answering, Lin Yu immediately waited for the system's response with some nervousness. However, a few seconds later, the cold reminder sound of the system rang out again in his mind, but it informed Lin Yu that the answer was wrong again. Ding! Wrong answer Lin Yu was bewildered. What's wrong? He remembers correctly. It should be because the Silver Dragon King tore apart space and crossed to Dolua Star, causing the original power of the dead divine beasts and gods in the divine realm to leak to Dolua Continent, which led to the birth of soul masters and soul beasts. How could that be wrong again? When Lin Yu once again answered incorrectly, many people also answered the question, which was further improved on the basis of Tuoba Shi. But unfortunately, everything is still wrong, and some have received heavier punishments. This made no one in the entire live broadcast room dare to answer questions for a while. However, as time passed and no one answered, the system's countdown began. In an instant, a row of blood-colored characters suddenly appeared again in front of everyone. At the same time, the cold lifting sound of the system echoed in everyone's ears. Tip. Last minute answer time. If no one answers correctly, one soul masters martial soul, one soul beast with a cultivation of over 100,000 years, or one ordinary person's life will be randomly stripped. I'll go. This punishment is too severe. For a moment, everyone panicked and they heard the punishment from the system. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Correct answer, Lin Yu, Crazy Pursuit. Push. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 5 Correct Answer, Lin Yu, Crazy Pursuit. I recommend checking in and leaving messages, they all squeak. Gu Rong. Cough cough. Everyone, please answer it. Maybe you'll get it right. This is a wish that can be fulfilled at will. Huyen Zhen. Nima. I just answered wrong. The eighth soul ring has been stripped. Who dares to answer again? If I answer wrong again, even my martial soul has been stripped, then I will play a ball. In the elephant armor sect, Hu Yenjin sat on a throne with an unsightly expression. That was once bitten by a snake, ten years afraid of a well rope. Tuoba Shi. Ning Fengji. Ah. You always have to answer. If you don't answer, the punishment will be even harsher. Although Ning Fengji said so, the virtual screen remained silent for a while. After all, although the punishment may be severe, the entire Dolua continent has been dragged into this live broadcast room, and the punishment may not necessarily fall on oneself. However, if the answer is incorrect, then the punishment really belongs to oneself and cannot be escaped. Looking at the illusory screen in front of me, messages kept flashing by. Lin Yu suddenly noticed the words, Soul Ring, spoken by Hu Yenjin, as if he had thought of something. His eyes couldn't help but open wide, and he was ecstatic in his heart. Yeah. And Soul Rings. For a moment, Lin Yu suddenly thought of the key to the problem. All along, he has simply equated the birth of Soul Masters with the birth of Martial Souls. But besides martial souls, soul rings are also indispensable in the soul master system. And soul rings, in some of the novels he has read in his past life, were not born by the soul beast clan themselves. Who would have given birth to such a thing that humans would kill themselves? This doesn't make sense at all. According to some previous novels, soul rings are actually created by the gods in the divine realm to prevent the emergence of beings like dragon gods and the soul beasts by deliberately changing the rules of Dolua continent. The purpose is to make soul beasts and humans kill each other, and no longer be able to give birth to powerful beings that can shake the divine realm. 
And the same goes for the fierce beast calamity that soul beasts will experience in 100,000 years. However, with the strength of the gods in the divine realm, relying solely on their power cannot change the rules of Dolua continent, so this should be achieved by the gods in the divine realm through the divine realm. So the final answer should be, Lin Yu. The birth of soul masters can be divided into two reasons. The first part is that the birth of martial souls should be due to the silver dragon king tearing apart space and arriving at our Doloa continent, bringing some special energy, which led to the production of soul beasts in Doloa continent and also gave birth to martial souls for humans at that time. The other part is that the appearance of soul rings should be the result of the gods in the divine realm changing the rules of Doloa continent through the power of the divine realm. Taking a deep breath, Lin Yu issued an answer to the system. As Lin Yu waited anxiously, the system's response finally sounded. Ding! Congratulations to the host, correct answer. May I ask if the answer will be displayed in the live broadcast room? After a moment, the system's response finally sounded, and Lin Yu couldn't help but feel great joy in his heart. Oi! Finally answered correctly. After discovering that he had finally answered the question correctly, Lin Yu didn't think much and suppressed his excitement. He directly chose to display the answer in the live broadcast room. Because even if you choose not to display the answer, as he answered the question correctly, the system will later prompt in the live broadcast room that he answered correctly. Since it can't be hidden anyway, why not show it and pretend to be cute? As Lin Yu chose to reveal his answer, a message suddenly appeared on the previously empty virtual screen in the live broadcast room. Lin Yu The birth of soul masters can be divided into two reasons. The first part is that the birth of martial souls should be due to the silver dragon king tearing apart space and arriving at our Doloa continent, bringing some special energy, which gave rise to soul beasts in Doloa continent and also gave birth to martial souls for humans at that time. The other part is that the appearance of soul rings should be the result of the gods in the divine realm changing the rules of Doloa continent through the power of the divine realm. Seeing someone answer unexpectedly, the entire live broadcast room immediately became lively. Yu Yu Engine. Ha! Huh. Someone actually answered, do you know someone named Lin Yu? Ning Fengji. I don't know, but this answer seems to have a possibility of being correct. Snowy Knight. Let's see if we can answer correctly. However, this answer, in terms of logic and process, feels more complete than our answer. It's even a bit too perfect, I don't know if it's right. Because I saw that Lin Yu had actually answered a question, and the answer seemed to have something else, the entire live broadcast room was instantly flooded with countless messages. And while everyone was waiting, the system's answer finally came out. Tip. Lin Yu's answer. The birth of soul masters can be divided into two parts. The first part is the birth of martial souls, which should be due to the silver dragon king tearing apart space and arriving at our Doloa continent, bringing some special energy, which led to the production of soul beasts in Doloa continent and the birth of martial souls in humans at that time. The appearance of soul rings should be the result of the gods in the divine realm changing the rules of Doloa continent through the power of the divine realm. The answer is correct. Reward Within a certain limit, there is one chance to fulfill your wish, and it is all distributed. As a line of blood-colored characters emerged before everyone's eyes, the entire live broadcast room exploded when a cold voice rang in their ears. Huyen Zhen Unbelievable. No, someone really answered correctly. Snow Knight Emperor. Quickly. Send someone to check for me, who exactly is this guy named Lin Yu? Qian Dao Lu. At Lin Yu, little one, is it good for you to help me resurrect someone by giving me this opportunity to fulfill your wish? As long as you agree, I can represent the Martial Soul Hall to promise you a lifetime of wealth and prosperity and under the protection of our martial soul hall, no one can oppress you in the future. Ning Fengji At Lin Yu, little brother, can your wish help me evolve my seven treasure glass pagoda martial soul? 
If you agree, our seven treasure glass sect can also promise you a lifetime of wealth and protect you from being oppressed for life. Heavenly dream, urgent. Human child, how about making a wish to help your brother get out of trouble? As long as you are willing, make a wish for him to come to your side directly, and he can directly sacrifice to you. You can not only obtain a million-year soul ring, but also an ice martial soul. With my guidance, I will definitely assist you to become the strongest title Dolua in the future. Discovering that Lin Yu had answered the question correctly, the entire live broadcast room was filled with an urgent desire to woo Lin Yu and make the opportunity for him to fulfill his wish work for himself. However, looking at the virtual screen in front of him, Lin Yu was somewhat speechless. Because among them, Qian Dao Lu, Ning Fengji, Snow Knight Emperor, and Emperor Dai Tian Feng of the Star Luo Empire were able to win over. The first two guarantee their future wealth and prosperity, and will not be bullied. On this basis, the latter two are also willing to honor themselves with the title of Duke. But what kind of ghosts are behind? Tian Meng Ai Silkworm said that if she made a wish to help her out of trouble, she would sacrifice herself to help her obtain a million-year soul ring and an ice-based martial soul, and she was also willing to become a ring grandpa to help her become a strong person. Bullshit. Don't think I don't know, the ice martial soul you gave me is completely incomplete, and I have to go to the far north to adventure and complete it. With this skill, wouldn't I make a wish to obtain a powerful martial soul myself? Then, Yu Yu Enjin from the Blue Electric King Clan, Dugu Bo from the Blue Phosphorus Clan, Yi Xinlan from the Nine Hearted Begonia Clan, and Sher Batian from the Xuan Wu Turtle Clan all expressed their willingness to owe them kindness. Get out of here, your kindness is nothing. Moreover, what made Lin Yu the funniest was that even the Shi Yu and Xiao Gang came out to help evolve their martial soul, promising promise is willing to give him lifelong theoretical knowledge of martial soul research. This makes Lin Yu feel like a jerk. If it weren't for his current identity, he shouldn't have known Yu Xiao Jiang, otherwise Lin Yu would definitely have looked down on him. Don't pee and take care of yourself, see if you're qualified. I want to put my hands on a white wolf here. Lin Yu. Sorry. At Qian Oliu, at Ning Fengzi, at Snowy Night, at Dai Tian Feng, Although I am tempted by your conditions, I still like to have my fate in my own hands. This wish is very important to me, and I cannot give it to others. Seeing Lin Yu's answer, for a moment, Qian Dao Lu, Ning Fengji, the Snow Knight Emperor, and Dai Tian Feng couldn't help but feel helpless and regretful in their hearts. However, Lin Yu's choice was not much beyond their expectations, because if it were them, they would not have given anyone the opportunity to fulfill their wish. In their view, if Lin Yu were an ordinary civilian and accidentally answered the question correctly, he might agree to their transaction. But now it seems that the person named Lin Yu who can answer this difficult question is not an ordinary commoner. Ning Fengji. Ah. That's really a pity, but if you're willing, the door of our seven treasures glass sect will always be open for you. Although the transaction failed, Ning Fengji expressed her appreciation for Lin Yu's opportunity to fulfill her wish. As long as she made good use of it, her future prospects would be limitless. Bibi Dong. The door of our martial soul hall will always be open to you. After Ning Fengji, Bibi Dong was not willing to be outdone. Similarly, Snow Knight Emperor, Dai Tian Feng, and Yu Yu Enjin, among others, have all expressed that the transaction was not successful, but they can still be friends in the future. After all, this opportunity to fulfill one's wish includes making a direct wish to become a level 99 title Dolo. Although I don't know if this wish is fulfilled, including the bonus soul ring, the level 99 title Dolo is already powerful enough to hunt soul beasts and obtain soul rings. For a moment, Lin Yu completely transformed into a fragrant steamed bun in the live broadcast room. However, of course, there are still people in the live broadcast room who don't have long eyes cursing Lin Yu for not trading with him. However, Lin Yu is too lazy to pay attention to such fools. Ding! The QA session for this live broadcast has ended, and the live room will be temporarily closed in three minutes.
you can freely choose to exit the live room. The next live QA time, seven days later while Lin Yu was chatting with the big shots from Doloa Continent in the live broadcast room. A row of blood-colored characters suddenly reappeared in front of everyone. At the same time, a cold voice rang out again. Is the next QA session in seven days? For a moment, many people felt lost in thought. It seems that this live QA should continue indefinitely, rather than being one dot time. But I just don't know what the reward for the next live QA will be. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Restrictions on Making Wishes, Chaos Qinglian Martial Soul, Leave Feet for All. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 6 Limitations on Making Wishes, Chaos Qinglian Martial Soul, Leave Footprints, Let the Author Know That Someone Is Watching. As the first live QA ended, Lin Yu withdrew from the live broadcast room. At this time, on the mountain behind the windmill village. After his consciousness withdrew from the live broadcast room, Lin Yu stood on the hillside, rubbing his hands, his heart filled with excitement. He needs to prepare to use up the reward he received this time. Although bound to a live QA system, Lin Yu's golden finger system is different from almost all the systems he has read in novels before. The most different thing is that the reward given by Lin Yu's golden finger was snatched by someone. Compared to the people on Doloa continent, Lin Yu's advantage is not absolute. Lin Yu's only major advantage is his understanding of the plot, as well as three opportunities for punishment exemption and the ability to specify rewards to a certain extent. But from this question, it seems that the questions raised by the system, as far as Lin Yu is aware of the plot, may not necessarily be able to answer correctly. So Lin Yu dare not be careless at all. Lin Yu was determined to make good use of this opportunity to fulfill his wish that he had finally obtained. However, unlike what Ning Fengji and others had guessed, Lin Yu did not intend to make a wish to directly obtain the strength of the 99th level title Dolua, nor did he intend to make a wish to obtain a divine level martial soul. Although wishing to obtain the title Dolua strength of level 99 can immediately make Lin Yu stronger, his parents in this life are commoners, and his martial souls are wooden sticks and sickles, respectively. If Lin Yu makes this wish, Lin Yu felt that even if he had obtained the strength of the 99th level title Doluo. But the martial soul is either a wooden stick or a sickle. With such a poor martial soul, he is definitely at the bottom of his level of strength. This undoubtedly makes Lin Yu very dissatisfied. After all, at least he is now a time traveler with golden fingers. And the most crucial point is that Lin Yu knows that there are still gods in this world. Although the gods in the Dolua series are among the many gods in the fantasy world, they can be said to exist like sewers. However, the gods of the Dolua series still crush the level 99 title Dolua and soul beasts below a million years old on the Dolua continent. As a traveler with golden fingers. Knowing that there are still gods in Dolua continent who can descend to the lower realm. If Lin Yu wants to obtain an upper limit strength, he must also exceed the upper limit strength of all gods, not just level 99 extreme Doluo. So from the beginning, Lin Yu excluded the strength of the 99 level extreme Doluo. As for a divine level martial soul, Lin Yu thought for a moment but still gave up. Because the rules of Doluo continent seem to have been formulated by the gods in the divine realm. Trying to defeat others in their game rules is simply a pipe dream. So Lin Yu's ultimate plan is to break out of the game rules of Dolua Continent. Instead of making a wish to the system to obtain the ultimate strength of the Soul Master System on Dolua Continent, or a Divine Level Martial Soul. Why not make a wish to obtain various bloodlines, supernatural powers, or martial arts that are much stronger in other worlds than Dolua Continent? So, for the opportunity to fulfill his first question and answer wish, Lin Yu's ultimate choice was to see if he could obtain various top level world bloodlines, supernatural powers, or martial arts through making a wish. For example, 
the ancestral bloodline of the primordial witch in the world of floods and wilderness, as well as martial arts such as the Eight Nine Xian Gong, or the Divine Elephant Control Force in the Holy King world, the Star Transformation in the Star Transformation world, and the Heavenly Swallowing Demon skill in the Covering world. There are also the three major divine engineering projects of galactic power, Nova War God, and Sunlight in the world of supernatural theology, or the Kryptonian lineage in the DC world system, can I make a wish to obtain the bloodline of the twelve ancestral witches in the primordial world? After making up his mind, Lin Yu couldn't help but take a deep breath and said to the live QA system. However, the hopeful answer to Lin Yu's wish made him somewhat dumbfounded. Ding! Sorry, this wish system cannot be implemented. After a moment of silence, the cold sound of the system rang in Lin Yu's ear. Why, since you said that your wish includes the ability to resurrect the deceased and there is no underworld in Dolua continent, you should be able to reverse time and space to resurrect the deceased. This proves that your ability should be very strong. It's just about obtaining the bloodline of the twelve ancestors which. There's no reason why you can't fulfill this wish. Lin Yu felt somewhat incredulous and unwilling. It's not that this system cannot fulfill this wish, it's because the world level of Dolua continent is too low to provide normal growth for those with ancestral witch bloodlines. If the host chooses forcibly, they will only be killed by the bloodline's backlash. The system's cold answer. Bloodline is not good, then the eight nine mysterious arts, divine elephant prison suppressing force, star transformation, and swallowing heavenly demon arts are all good, right? I don't want to cultivate all of them to perfection, as long as I can cultivate a part of them. With a hint of luck in his arms, Lin Yu asked again. Sorry. The cultivation system of the Covering Heaven World is special, and the host of the Swallowing Heaven Demon skill does not have a corresponding cultivation constitution, making it impossible to cultivate. The resources required for the 8-9 Xian Gong and Divine Elephant Prison Control Force are too huge for the Dolua Continent World to provide, and the stars become cultivation techniques. The required concentration of heaven and earth spiritual energy cannot be met by the Dolua continent. The system recommends that the host do not choose them. The cold voice of the system answered again. Damn it! What about the three major divine engineering projects and Kryptonian bloodline of the super seminary? These should be possible, right? Lin Yu gritted his teeth and lowered his standards, unable to resist asking again. The three major divine engineering projects of the Super Seminary and the Kryptonian lineage can be strengthened by the system for the host. However, the world of Dolua Continent does not have a dark plane, and there is no one teaching the knowledge of the system related to the world of supernatural seminaries. The host cannot fully utilize the abilities of these three major divine engineering projects, and this system does not recommend the host to choose. In addition, although the Kryptonian lineage has enormous potential, its soul-level defense is insufficient, and this system does not recommend the host to choose it. The cold voice of the system responded once again. Mad. This can't be, that you don't recommend, then give me the best choice. Upon hearing that the system either refused or did not recommend, Lin Yu couldn't help but feel speechless and said in a somewhat annoyed tone. However, upon hearing Lin Yu's words, the system fell silent for a moment before suddenly speaking up. After comprehensive consideration of this system, the current host is able to achieve and is most suitable for the host. The most promising one should be the Chaos Qinglian Martial Soul. The host can choose to wish to obtain the Chaos Qinglian Martial Soul. Chaos Qinglian Martial Soul. Upon hearing the system's words, Lin Yu couldn't help but be taken aback, and then suddenly felt a little surprised in his heart. If he cannot make a wish to obtain many top-dot-level bloodlines and martial arts from the world, then a top-dot-level martial soul is undoubtedly the optimal solution for him at present. And when it comes to the top-dot-level martial soul, as far as he knows, Chaos Qinglian is second, and no one dares to say first. And the Chaos Qinglian martial soul can also differentiate into many innate treasures. 
Among them are the four lotus, namely the merit golden lotus, the annihilation black lotus, the fire red lotus, and the pure white lotus. There are also three books, namely the heavenly book function bang, the earth book earth fetal membrane, and the human book life and death book. Then there are the innate five square flags, namely the Wuji apricot yellow flag, the Qinglian treasure color flag, the Lidi flame light flag, the plain cloud boundary flag, and the Xianyuan control water flag. Finally, there are innate treasures such as the god killing spear, Qianquan ding, and Qingping sword. Although there are many theories about the innate treasures differentiated from the chaotic green lotus. But in the end, it can all be said that offensive and defensive assistance is complete. So after a moment of contemplation, Lin Yu decisively chose to make a wish to obtain the Chaos Qinglian Martial Soul. End of this chapter Chapter 7 Martial Soul Awakening, Different Places, Similar Tauga You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Martial Soul Awakening, Different Places, Similar Tauga Seeking recommendation, checking in, collecting. After wishing to obtain the Chaos Qinglian Martial Soul, Lin Yu suddenly felt an inexplicable force injected into his body, and finally poured into the depths of his body from all four limbs and bones, transforming into a part of his body. However, Lin Yu originally thought that obtaining the Chaos Qinglian Martial Soul could bring some degree of change to his body. After all, Chaos Qinglian is the existence that gave birth to the legendary pioneer of the wilderness, Pangu. Unfortunately, after obtaining the Chaos Qinglian Martial Soul, Lin Yu only found that his body had become more energetic, but he did not notice any significant changes. This made Lin Yu couldn't help but lament. Sure enough, we still can't get through the loopholes in the system. After making a wish, Lin Yu descended from the back mountain and walked towards Windmill Village. On the way, Lin Yu saw many uncles, uncles, and aunts in the fields who used to work hard at this time, and now they are all discussing. Lin Yu knew that they were probably discussing the live broadcast room that just appeared. However, Lin Yu couldn't help but let out a somewhat complicated sigh in his heart. Although the emergence of live QA systems is an opportunity for the entire Dolua continent, this opportunity is only limited to those knowledgeable nobles and soul masters. For commoners like them, except for exceptions like him, unless they have bad luck, they basically won't get any benefits. On the contrary, it is more likely that the entire live broadcast room will be punished with deprivation of life if no one answers the right questions. After all, looking at the entire Dolua continent, the largest number of people are civilians. If no one answers the question correctly and randomly selects people for punishment, the probability of suffering is definitely higher for civilians. However, with 50 great roads and 40.9 heavenly branches, there must be a glimmer of vitality in everything. Although the questions raised in the live QA may seem tricky or difficult at the moment, they are not entirely traceable. For the civilians on the Dolua continent, if they are truly willing to sacrifice their lives and get a chance to change their destiny, with good luck, it is not impossible. So Lin Yu didn't sigh too much, but quickly adjusted his mood, hummed a song, and walked quickly towards his wooden house. Today, I finally bound my golden finger and obtained the legendary Chaos Qinglian as my martial soul. He needs to celebrate well. Time flew by and the next day arrived. Because today is the day of awakening of martial souls, Lin Yu woke up very early. After washing up and finishing his meal, Lin Yu set off straight to the martial soul branch hall in the center of the village. As Lin Yu was about to arrive at the martial soul branch hall in the center of the village, many people had already arrived on the lawn in front of the hall, all of whom were parents sending their children to participate in the martial soul awakening. Hello Uncle Linya, haven't seen you for a few days. It seems like you have become stronger, Uncle Linya. Hello Auntie Suli, today I suddenly realized that you seem to have become younger, Auntie Suli. I almost thought it was Sister Lily. Hello, Uncle Parker. Hey, Uncle Parker, have you become so energetic today? As he walked towards the Marshall Soul Branch Hall, 
Lin Yu smiled and greeted the villagers and elders on the lawn with a small mouth as if wiping honey. Then Lin Yu walked to a large tree next to him, sat up, and couldn't help but yawn a bit drowsily. He has never gotten up so early before. Waiting for the guiding soul master from the nearby Kira City Soul Branch Hall to come, Lin Yu couldn't help but scan around casually. On the lawn, except for the elders who sent their children to participate in the awakening of martial souls. The children who truly participate in the awakening of martial souls, even with Lin Yu, are only four people. Compared to the size of seven people in Holy Soul Village, it is undoubtedly much smaller. It has to be said that the Holy Soul Village may have benefited from the so dot called Soul Saint Legend, and the welfare benefits enjoyed are much better than the Windmill Village where Lin Yu is located. At least Windmill Village does not have a quota for its own independent work students. Moreover, the Martial Soul Branch Hall in Windmill Village is only a very rudimentary wooden house, with a thatched hut at the top. Fortunately, due to its importance. Although this rudimentary martial soul palace has many damages. But they were all repaired by the villagers in the village, otherwise they would look even worse. After waiting for about ten minutes. An elderly man with grey hair, leaning on a cane and wearing a grey-brown robe, finally walked over from a distance with a middle-aged man wearing the uniform of the martial soul hall. All right. The soul master sent by the Martial Soul Branch Hall of Kira City has arrived. Now let the children follow the soul master to start awakening their martial souls. Before and after arriving at the Martial Soul Branch Hall, the old man couldn't help but speak in an old voice. Yes, Village Chief Leo. Dog Egg, remember to listen to Lord Soul Master's words later, do you understand? Four Pillars, you too. Don't act recklessly, awakening your martial soul is very important. Area, you also need to be obedient, you know. After the words of village chief Leo were spoken, a group of villagers who had sent their children to awaken their martial souls immediately began to remind their own children. At this moment, Lin Yu also stood up and walked towards the martial soul branch hall. All right, you all come with me. With the guidance of the soul master, who opened the door of the Martial Soul Branch Hall, for children, including Lin Yu, also entered the Martial Soul Branch Hall. As for village chief Leo and the villagers, they naturally stayed outside the Martial Soul Branch Hall to wait. After entering the Martial Soul Palace, he was like the blind Doluo Su Yuntao in Lin Yu's memory. The guide soul master sent by Kira City also took out six black round stones from the package he carried with him and set up a six-pointed star formation on the ground. Then he took out a dark blue crystal ball and placed it on the table in front of the wooden house. All right, let me introduce myself. My name is Ho Yun Tao, a level 24 soul master. I am your martial soul guide. What will I say later? You must follow me, okay? Looking at the four children in front of him, the middle dot aged soul master named Ho Yun Tao couldn't help but say in a deep voice. Ho Yun Tao, this name has something to it. Upon hearing the name of the guide soul master, Lin Yu was somewhat surprised. But don't think it's crooked. What Lin Yu said is somewhat unexpected. He didn't expect that there would be a Ho Yun Tao with a similar name for him instead of blindly fighting Luo Suyun Tao here. You, come out and enter this martial soul awakening formation. When Lin Yu felt a little surprised, Ho Yun Tao finished speaking and immediately pointed to the dog egg standing in a row on the far left. Oh. Because he learned about the general process of awakening his martial soul from his brother Steel Egg, Dog Egg didn't say anything and didn't know anything, but rather curiously walked into the six pointed star formation. White Iron Stick, come out. Seeing Dog Egg enter the Martial Soul Awakening Formation, Ho Yun Tao immediately let out a low cry and summoned a white iron rod martial soul. At the same time, two white soul rings also rose under its feet, surrounding its body. Immediately afterwards, Ho Yun Tao quickly clapped his hands and injected several white soul powers into the black round stones that formed the six pointed star formation for a moment countless golden dots suddenly escaped from the black raw stone and poured into the body of the short and skinny dog egg. 
close your eyes and perceive the martial soul inside you. In Ho Yintao's low drink, Gooden obediently closed his eyes and began to sense the martial soul inside his body amidst the faint restlessness. Unfortunately, in Doloa continent, the chance for ordinary people to awaken good martial souls and become soul masters is really low. The martial soul awakened by dog egg is a rake, and the final test result of soul power is zero soul power. This makes dog egg feel a bit disappointed. His family gave him the derogatory name of dog egg, which not only symbolizes good living, but also hopes that he can awaken his dog martial soul. This is not impossible, because the martial soul awakened by Dog Egg's grandfather is the Dog Martial Soul, which possesses soul power, but ultimately does not become a soul master. After the Dog Egg, the second one to awaken the martial soul is the Four Pillars. However, the awakened Four Pillars are also useless martial souls without soul power, like a sickle. As for Arya, what awakens is also the standard form of the abandoned martial soul, which is a blue silver grass. Finally, it was Lin Yu's turn. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 I am not the invitation from Lin Yu, Brother Tao. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8 I am not the invitation from Lin Yu, Brother Tao. Please recommend, clock in, leave a message. You, come and awaken your martial soul. In the rudimentary martial soul palace, there is a sense of disappointment that many ordinary children have not been able to become soul masters. So after awakening the martial soul for Dog Egg, Four Pillars, and Tuya. Regarding the loss of the three children, Ho Yintao's face did not change, but he calmly spoke in a deep voice, asking Lin Yu to step forward into the martial soul awakening formation to awaken his martial soul. And Lin Yu also walked into the martial soul awakening formation with curiosity. Afterwards, Ho Yun Tao continued to quickly clap his hands and thrust his soul power into the black round stones that formed the martial soul awakening formation. Countless golden dots suddenly dissipated and poured continuously into Lin Yu's body. Because I am aware of the plot and have witnessed the awakening of the martial souls of Dog Egg and the other three just now. So without the guidance of Ho Yun Tao, after the golden light dots flooded into his body, Lin Yu closed his eyes and began to sense the martial soul inside. This child seems to have hope. As time went by, Ho Yun Tao couldn't help but be surprised to see that Lin Yu had absorbed several times more golden dots than the three of dog eggs combined before, but there was still no sign of his martial soul awakening. Based on his past experience, a child who can absorb so many golden light spots is basically 100% capable of becoming a soul master. And the awakened one should still be an extremely powerful martial soul. This should be a mutation in the martial soul, right? I just don't know what kind of martial soul mutation it is, and what kind of martial soul it ultimately mutates into watching Lin Yu, Ho Yun Tao couldn't help but think in his heart. In Dolua continent, although the common people generally do not awaken their good martial souls and have the hope of becoming soul masters. But there is a phenomenon of martial soul variation on the Dolua continent. Even the most useless martial soul has the possibility of becoming stronger and becoming a powerful martial soul. Chicken martial souls may mutate into phoenixes, lizards and snakes may mutate into dragon martial souls, and various agricultural tool martial souls can also mutate into powerful martial souls. This probability is certainly very low. But if we expand the target from individuals to civilians across the entire Dolua continent in addition, the history of Dolua continent has become quite significant. It's just that Ho Yun Tao didn't expect it. He could even one day see the legendary variation of martial souls. If he guesses correctly, if he can recommend such a genius to the martial soul hall, he can receive extremely generous rewards. This is really luck, no one can stop it. For a moment, Ho Yun Tao couldn't help but feel very happy in his heart. Finally, Lin Yu stopped absorbing the golden dots. Seeing this, Ho Yun Tao immediately activated his soul power and then suddenly let out a low cry. Summon your martial soul. Upon hearing Ho Yun Tao's words, Lin Yu, 
who was in the martial soul awakening formation, couldn't help but suddenly open his eyes and extend his left hand. As a blue light flashed by, a blue lotus flower that only Lin Yu knew, full of mysterious and Taoist charm, suddenly appeared in Lin Yu's hand. Flower Martial Soul What kind of flower martial soul is this? Seeing Lin Yu summoning the Chaos Qinglian Martial Soul, Ho Yuntao couldn't help but be a bit stunned. Because he couldn't recognize the Chaos Qinglian Martial Soul, and he couldn't guess what kind of martial soul mutation Chaos Qinglian Martial Soul was. However, since it is an unknown martial soul, combined with the strange situation of the child absorbing golden light points just now. It is highly likely that this is a mutated martial soul, that's right. Child, come and test your soul power. After pondering for a while, Ho Yun Tao immediately picked up a dark blue soul power test crystal ball from the nearby wooden table and handed it to Lin Yu. Without hesitation, Lin Yu naturally reached out and placed his hand on the dark blue crystal ball. For a moment, Lin Yu suddenly felt a strong suction burst out from the soul power test crystal ball, instantly sucking in the soul power that had emerged from his body. The crystal ball suddenly burst into a dazzling blue light. This is. This is innate soul power. When Ho Yun Tao saw the dazzling light emitted by the blue crystal ball in front of him, he couldn't help but be shocked and his face was full of disbelief. After the shock, ecstasy followed closely. Because this is innate soul power. A genius with innate soul power level, even if you look at the entire Dolua continent, is like a rare and rare existence. Moreover, the mutated flower martial soul with innate full soul power is likely to be a legendary auxiliary type martial soul. In the realm of soul masters, auxiliary soul masters are already rare. And such a top dot notch genius in supporting martial souls. If he could invite him to join their martial soul hall. This will definitely receive rich rewards from the martial soul hall. Thinking of this, Ho Yun Tao couldn't help but suppress his excitement and ask Lin Yu. Child, what's your name? Are you interested in joining our martial soul hall? Join your martial soul hall. Upon hearing Ho Yintao's words, Lin Yu couldn't help but feel somewhat surprised. Because according to the routines in Dolua Tongren novels he has read in his past life. He is a plant type with innate soul power and martial soul, and in such a small place where one doesn't know which niche, it is highly likely to be considered a useless martial soul. Then guide the soul master to be like Tauga from Holy Soul Village. Firstly, he sighed at his innate full soul power, then unfortunately, he was a disabled martial soul, and then there was nothing else. I didn't expect this, Tauga, to invite him to join the martial soul hall. Sure enough, the novels are full of lies. After some thought, Lin Yu still put on a regretful expression and sighed. Sorry, Master Soul, my name is Lin Yu. Although I also really want to join the martial soul hall, I'm still young and don't want to be too far from home. Let me think about it again. If I have a plan to join the Martial Soul Hall, I will go to Kira City to find the Soul Master. Your name is Lin Yu. Upon hearing Lin Yu's name, Ho Yun Tao couldn't help but think of something, with a look of shock on his face. As soon as he saw Ho Yun Tao's reaction, Lin Yu thought of what this Tauga was thinking. However, Lin Yu had already figured out a way to deal with this situation. Master Soul, don't you think I'm Lin Yu from yesterday's live broadcast room? Although the name is the same and I really want to become this Lin Yu, unfortunately I am not. If I had the opportunity to make a wish, I would definitely have either made a wish to obtain the strength of the 99 level extreme Dolua, which is really impressive. Either I will make a wish to obtain the strongest dragon martial soul in the legend, or I will not make a wish to obtain a useless flower martial soul. Looking at Ho Yun Tao with a shocked face in front of him, Lin Yu shrugged his shoulders, his expression somewhat helpless and envious. That's right too. Upon hearing Lin Yu's words, Ho Yun Tao immediately felt quite taken aback. Although auxiliary soul masters are very popular in the soul master world. But if there are really candidates, most people will still choose to become soul warriors. Instead of becoming an auxiliary soul master. After all, 
the low strength of auxiliary soul masters is recognized by the entire soul master world. Compared to providing assistance to others, it is definitely better to have one's own strength. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 The Awakening of Martial Souls Ends, and the Second Q.A. Session Begins. Seeking You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 The Awakening of Martial Souls Ends, and the Second Q.A. Session Begins. Seeking Recommendation, Checking In, Collecting Children, don't think your martial soul is useless. Your martial soul is an innate soul full of soul power. Although they may not have combat abilities, they may have top-notch auxiliary abilities. Your talents may be buried elsewhere, but if you are willing to join our martial soul hall, our martial soul hall is the most powerful soul master force on the mainland and can definitely cultivate you into a talent. Looking at Lin Yu, Ho Yuntao has not given up his idea of recruiting him. Would you like to reconsider? If you are willing to join our Martial Soul Hall, we will send you to the best Soul Master Academy to study. And not only will we not charge you tuition fees, but we will also provide you with scholarships. Moreover, every year during holidays, if you want to go back, we will send a special car to take you back. Ho Yuntao, who was familiar with the treatment of geniuses in the Soul Master Academy in the Martial Soul City, was full of temptation towards Lin Yu. I'll go. This treatment is acceptable. Upon hearing Ho Yintao's words, Lin Yu couldn't help but feel somewhat surprised. But there is a reason why he doesn't choose to join the Martial Soul Hall now. On the one hand, he really hasn't figured out what to do in the future yet. If his golden finger is a normal golden finger from novels he has read in his past life, he definitely does not need the Martial Soul Hall and will not join it. But unfortunately, his golden fingers are not normal, but they are not unusable. So this made Lin Yu hesitant about joining the Martial Soul Hall. On the other hand, Lin Yu felt that he was at least born with full soul power. If I agree to Ho Yun Tao like this, it feels like he's a bit too cheap. He also doesn't want Pope Bibi from the Martial Soul Hall to come and visit the thatched cottage three times. But if his news can be known by Pope Bibi Don in the Martial Soul City, and then someone can be sent from the Martial Soul Hall to recruit him. In the future, his promise to join the Martial Soul Hall will definitely receive more attention. So Lin Yu politely refused. Sorry, Master Soul, I haven't figured it out yet. I'll get back to you in the future. Children, where are your adults? I'll go talk to your adults. Ho Yun Tao is still somewhat unwilling. He has always invited these ordinary children on behalf of the Martial Soul Hall, but no one has refused. However, considering that the child in front of him has innate soul power, he doesn't feel any displeasure. Genius! It must be somewhat different from ordinary people. I don't need this anymore. My parents have already passed away, and now I am the only one at home. For Ho Yintao's words, Lin Yu scratched his head and couldn't help but show a somewhat shy smile. This answer made Ho Yintao almost want to vomit blood. Speaking of your parents dying, shouldn't you be sad? Why are you so shy? However, hearing that Lin Yu's family is now only Lin Yu himself, Ho Yintao's heart became even more conflicted. Lin Yu is unwilling to agree to his invitation. He originally intended to achieve his goal by conquering Lin Yu's parents, but now it seems that it is clearly not possible. Although he was able to forcibly kidnap Lin Yu and deliver him to the Martial Soul Hall. However, doing so violates Ho Yintao's conscience and also carries significant potential risks. What if he does this to make this genius named Lin Yu hold a grudge and retaliate against him in the future? He is just an ordinary great soul master in a remote place, and it is estimated that he will be like this for the rest of his life. Can't withstand retaliation from an innate soul power genius with unlimited potential. Thinking of this, Ho Yuntao could only sigh and plan to write a letter to notify the Martial Soul Hall after returning. Send someone from the Martial Soul Hall to take this genius away. Although he said such things, he was not able to achieve perfection. 
but for the reward, he should also be able to get a chance to get it, right. After Lin Yu failed to join the Martial Soul Hall. With regret in mind, Ho Yuntao packed his things, opened the door of the Martial Soul Branch Hall, and walked out. As soon as Ho Yuntao walked out, the village chief Lao Lei and several parents eagerly surrounded him. Master Soul, how is the awakening of our village's children's martial souls this time? Is there anyone who can become a soul master? Old Leo asked eagerly. There is one, and it is still full of innate soul power. Your village will definitely ascend to heaven in the future. As his gaze slowly swept over the old village Chief Leo and a group of villagers, Ho Yuntao couldn't help but feel emotional. Innate full soul power. Upon hearing Ho Yintao's words, old Leo and the villagers couldn't help but feel shocked on their faces, as they had not regained their senses for a long time. And wait for the villagers to come to their senses. Ho Yintao has left because he has to go to another village to host the awakening of martial souls. Fortunately, Lin Yu and Dog Egg also walked out of the martial soul branch hall at this moment. Seeing Lin Yu and Gooden, the village chief Leo and several parents couldn't help but ask. Child, who among you has the qualification to become a soul master and is still born with full soul power? It's brother you. Upon hearing the words of the village chief Leo and others, Gooden, Siju, and Arya couldn't help but point enviously at Lin Yu. And Lin Yu's expression was very humble. Xiao Yu, I didn't expect it to be you. Okay. Your deceased parents, if they knew this news, they would definitely be proud of you. Upon hearing that it was Lin Yu, the village chief Lao Lei couldn't help but burst out laughing with joy. Because of Lin Yu's maturity and obedience. In the village, the child that the village chief Lao Lei likes and appreciates the most is Lin Yu. Just like old Jack and Tang San. And knowing that the genius with innate soul power is Lin Yu Ho. Old Leo believes that Lin Yu will definitely not let this talent down. After a round of pleasantries, Lin Yu left the rudimentary martial soul branch hall in the center of the village and returned to his home located on the edge of the village. After returning home, Lin Yu experimented with using the awakened Chaos Qinglian martial soul. But I don't know if it's because Lin Yu's strength is still too low. Now Lin Yu's level 10 soul power can only support the Chaos Qinglian martial soul to manifest for less than 3 minutes. Moreover, Lin Yu is unable to activate the special ability of Chaos Qinglian martial soul. Although there are not many martial souls with special abilities, such as the Blue Electric Tyrannosaurus Rex martial soul, which is born with the ability to emit and control lightning, and the Six-Winged Angel martial soul, which is born with the ability to purify the light, are only a few. But Lin Yu doesn't believe that the Chaos Qinglian Martial Soul Society also doesn't have special abilities. It seems that his strength is still too low at the moment. On the other hand, as time passed, evening arrived. After completing the Martial Soul Awakening for the village near Kira City, Ho Yuntao returned to the Martial Soul Branch Hall in Kira City, and immediately wrote the letter and sent it to the Martial Soul City. Seven days passed in a blink of an eye. Amidst countless different emotions such as nervousness, fear, excitement, and anticipation. The second live Q.A. has finally begun. On this day, Lin Yu stayed at home. As time approached 10 o'clock in the morning, everyone's eyes suddenly turned black. As soon as the line of sight returned, a dark and profound space appeared in front of me, resembling a vacuum universe. At the same time, a phantom screen suddenly appeared in my sight. However, the live broadcast event was not broadcasted immediately. The contract has been printed and mailed today. It is expected to be signed successfully next Monday, and then two updates will begin. In addition, the second live broadcast has ended, and the necessary preparations will also come to an end. Next, we will begin to expose Tang Hao, Tang San, and Master, and engage in torture. Stay tuned. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Question Who was the inventor of the Amplifying Soul Guide? 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 10 Question Who was the inventor of the Amplifying Soul Guide? Meng Shu, laughs. The second live Q&A has finally begun. For today, I have been preparing for a long time. Hu Yen Zhen, with a black face. Come on. Do you think the answer to this question raised in the live broadcast room can be easily found? If so, the reward from last time wouldn't have been taken by a lucky kid. Ning Fengji, smile. Don't worry too much, this Q&A session may not be the same type as the previous one. The previous question involved the legendary divine realm, and when the last Q&A started, this live broadcast room mentioned that the questions should mainly focus on the events that happened in the past, present, and future of Dolua continent. Our preparation may not be useless. Snowy Night, Meditation Do you really think this live broadcast room can play future events? I am really curious, I don't know what the future will be like. In the Martial Soul City, inside the Papal Palace, seeing the speech of the Snow Knight Emperor on the illusory screen, Bibi Dong Dai frowned and felt a little uneasy. What kind of live broadcast room can play past, present, and future events? Shouldn't they play out their future plans for the Martial Soul Hall? If it were played out, many of their plans in the Martial Soul Hall would be disrupted. And her intentions are also likely to fail on the other side, in the Heavenly Do Imperial City and the Prince's Mansion. Qian Renxue sat in the study, feeling very uneasy. She was also a bit afraid that she would be exposed by this so-called live broadcast room. Although there are two titled Dolua protectors around her, even if exposed, she can safely return to the Martial Soul City. But she put in a lot of effort to finally become the Crown Prince Suiking, and she has been lurking here for so long, I really don't want to be exposed like this. On the illusory screen, the messages continue to scroll. Speaking of the future, after the speech of the Snow Knight Emperor. Emperor Dai Tianfeng of the Star Luo Empire immediately spoke out, stating that the future belongs to the Star Luo Empire, which immediately sparked a verbal battle between the Heavenly Dou Empire and the Star Luo Empire. However, during the verbal abuse, the live broadcast event finally began to play. In an instant, the virtual screen, as a public screen, was forcibly blocked. In front of everyone, the pitch black and deep universe suddenly underwent a transformation, becoming a warehouse-like place. There are many shelves inside, and the shelves are filled with various metal items, making the movable space look very small. In the warehouse, a middle-aged man with disheveled hair and a dirty body stood in front of a metal platform holding a knife-like tool, constantly gesturing and carving at a cylindrical metal object placed on the platform, muttering incomprehensible words. No one can understand the language of this man. However, after listening to a few words, Ning Fengji, who was knowledgeable and talented, suddenly realized it. This seems to be the language of the Soul Guided Empire era hundreds of years ago. This scene should be someone developing a soul guide. Ning Feng frowned slightly, and couldn't help but speculate in his heart. And Ning Fengji did not guess wrong. In this warehouse-like place, the dirty middle-aged man muttered while using his knife to continuously carve a striped path on the metal cylinder on the metal platform. In the end, it seemed as if he had finally succeeded. The dirty man placed his mouth in front of the metal cylinder and shouted a few words before suddenly laughing wildly in the sky. And time seemed to suddenly freeze at this moment. A row of blood-colored characters suddenly appeared before everyone's eyes. At the same time, a cold sound echoed in everyone's ears. The playback event has ended, and the QA is now starting, question. Who was the inventor of the Amplifying Soul Guide? Reward for this QA, Martial Soul Evolution Opportunity X1. Rewards are opportunities for Martial Soul Evolution. When everyone heard the reward mentioned by the system, their hearts couldn't help but freeze, and then their bodies trembled instantly, feeling pleasantly surprised and excited in their hearts. In the Dolua continent, the most precious treasures for soul masters on the surface are soul bones and a 100,000-year soul ring. 
However, if there is an opportunity to evolve martial souls, the latter will definitely be much more precious than the former. But because no one knows what can evolve martial souls, the most precious things in the soul master world are soul bones and 100,000 year soul rings. But today, in this so.called award.winning QA live broadcast room, an opportunity for martial soul evolution was given as a reward, which is simply surprising to the point of madness. Among them, Ning Fengji, the Snow Knight Emperor, and Yu Xiao Jiang were particularly excited in their hearts. Because the goal that the three of them have always pursued is to evolve their martial souls. However, the purposes of the three are different. Ning Fengji is to get rid of the defect that the Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda can only reach the level of Soul Saint. The Snow Knight Emperor aims to make the strength of the Heavenly Dou Royal Family comparable to that of the Star Luo Royal Family, no longer just able to recruit powerful individuals from the outside world. And Yu Xiao Jiang's goal is to get rid of the long dot standing reputation of being a waste. Of course, except for Ning Fengji, Snow Knight Emperor, and Yu Xiao Jiang, everyone else is equally excited and excited about the opportunity for the evolution of martial souls. Hurry up, have someone check for me. Who is the inventor of the Amplifying Soul Guide? Discovering that the QA reward this time was actually an opportunity for martial soul evolution, the Snow Knight Emperor took a deep breath, suppressed his excitement, and issued orders in a low voice to the attendants beside him. Ask them to find someone to find the answer to this question and answer. Compared to being at a loss for the first time. In the second live broadcast, in order to answer the questions correctly. Before the QA began, the Snow Knight Emperor had already asked people to wait in the Imperial Palace's scripture room. Always be ready to search for books and get answers to this question and answer. At the same time, forces such as the Star Luo Palace, Martial Soul City, Houtian Sect, Blue Electric Overlord Sect, Elephant Armor Sect, and Dragon and Snake Clan have also done the same thing. However, the identity of those who search for answers in their own library or literature room varies. But at this moment, compared to these major powers, some who have not been able to establish their own libraries or reference rooms, as well as those who are alone, feel very uncomfortable in their hearts. Damn it! Who was the inventor of the Amplifying Soul Guide? How could I possibly know this question? In the windmill, Lin Yu sat on his own bed. When he saw the question and answer this time, his face suddenly turned black and he couldn't help but curse. In his past life, he had read the Dolua series of novels, comics, and animations. But after all, Dolua Continent is a novel, and comics and animations are also adaptations of novels. The novel only has a main storyline, and there is not much introduction about Dolua Continent. Although he knows the historical development of Dolua Continent, he is completely ignorant of specific details. Who is the inventor of this amplifying soul guide? This is completely his knowledge blind spot. Like Lin Yu, the master Yu Xiao Jiang at Nodding College also had a somewhat unpleasant expression and was very restless in his heart. Why ask this historical question in this QA, why not ask him about his expertise in soul beasts, soul beast knowledge, and soul master knowledge? If you ask him about his expertise in soul beast knowledge and soul master knowledge, he will definitely answer correctly, and this time the reward will definitely be his. Damn it! With the proposal of live streaming questions, when the vast majority of people are at a loss, countless forces have sent people to their own literature rooms and libraries to search for answers to the questions. A person suddenly said the answer. Ning Fengji, smiling. This person is called Thanos. As Ning Fengji's answer appeared on the virtual screen, everyone in the live broadcast room couldn't help but be shocked, their hearts filled with shock. Can't you find the answer so quickly? End of this chapter.